boys and girls of all ages we are off once again to Marina Valley to my foot doctor and you will never guess what happened last night do you want to tell him what are you talking about what I did to my foot last night oh yeah she's dangerous I thought she was gonna fall off of the on her little tightrope thing, but she just balance beam. She okay. just kills okay. herself stepping on a vacuum power cord. The carpet cleaner was in the kitchen, and I was going into the kitchen to. I wanted to get Kevin because I wanted to show him. Annoy um, Kevin. Huh? Annoy Kevin while he was doing work. I wanted to annoy Kevin because I wanted to show him Steven Tyler and Jax performing together on American Idol because I happened to think that that was an excellent, excellent performance. Mm -hmm. And um, I was walking into the bedroom to tell him that and I stepped on the plug to the carpet cleaner and when I stepped on the plug, I put out my right arm as well as my left arm to catch myself from falling on the refrigerator. So not only did I hurt my left foot, I hurt my shoulder. I knew it was bound to happen. I knew it was. Anything to add? Oh. And now we have to take a 30 to 40 minute drive to Moreno Valley. And we looked at the traffic and the traffic is horrible. So we're gonna take back roads down as far as we can before we get on the freeway. Yes, yes. That's what we're going to do. Val's cleaning her feet because she hates the idea that the doctor might think she has dirty feet. They don't come that clean either, look it. Well, you walk on your feet. That's what happens. Well, my slippers are dirty slippers too. <laughs> but at least they're better than they were when we first got here. <laughs> May I go find You're gonna fall asleep if you sit there any longer. I am. I'm very, very tired. And my mouth is very <laughs> dry. And I'm hungry. Oh well. Oh well. I had a Rice Krispie treat you could have had. Oh, that's disgusting. I don't know how you can eat that. It's like sugar. <laughs> Here, have a cube of sugar to eat. It's energy. I want my diabetes to go through <laughs> trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me, everybody. Remember, where is he going to bury me when he kills me? <laughs> if you remember, comment below. Let's see how many of you remember. So, I just saw my foot doctor and he gave me a cortisone shot in my right foot, which is the foot that is not healing properly. And my left foot, which is the foot I hurt last night, um, we decided or not to get a cortisone shot in that foot because when I heard it last night, I kind of heard a pop and he was feeling around on it and it's extremely, extremely tender. So I have to put my, what is it called? Your boot. My. Your space boot. Yeah, I have to put my boot, I have to wear my boot again on my um, left foot. So out comes the knee walker. Oh, I gotta get that out of the garage. So babe. No docking, driving. Babe. 
あPatience to sit in a restaurant. You don't like any restaurants. I know that. But you like the food here. Mm -hmm. And you like the people here. Yeah. Yeah. Because they all know me. They all go running. <laughs> they, they know the Nagavator is coming. Hey. Only the Nagavator with you. <laughs> So here's the dreaded appointment I've been not looking forward to at all. We are on our way to take Bootsy to see Dr. Bart. You can hear her in the little cubby there, meowing away. Pretty nervous. Um. <laughs> We'll see what the vet has to say about this, and um, we'll keep you guys updated. But on a positive note, it is raining out. I did a rain dance again! <laughs> yes, an unhappy Bootsy. This means she'll probably pee over everything when she gets home. <laughs> right? And an unhappy mommy. Hmm. And she's peeing and sometimes pooping everywhere. That was nice. Is she pee. drinking a lot of water then? We have, we closed off all the other animals and we keep just her in the one room, her own water dish, her own food dish, her own kitty litter box, and she still will pee and poo on pee pee pads and sometimes not even on the pee pee pads. Mm, yeah. 
Well, senility is not uncommon in older pets. So. I know. But that won't cause it to eat a lot and not gain weight, though. No. Yeah, we're worried if it's a tapeworm or... Well, the um, biggies in the cats of this age, these kind of symptoms would be diabetes, hyperthyroidism, and kidney, kidney disease. Hyperthyroidism is probably one of the more common ones and the easiest to treat through with medication and fine. And they, they respond well in 95% of the cases. Diabetes, it's basically you're looking at insulin injections, you know, management case lifelong, uh, you know, get things under control. Uh, and not every case controls well. And then kidney disease, you're looking at not much we can do about that. Uh, except for you know, medications to help slow the progression of kidney disease. Typically, though, with kidney problems, they begin to lose their appetite because they don't feel good. You know, so they're not eating like crazy. But both uh, hyperthyroidism and diabetes can cause me to eat a lot, drink a lot, and therefore comes out, you know, pooping like crazy and not some soft stool because it's just going right through them. Mm -hmm. so the way to tell them all apart is with a senior profile. It checks the... Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. She sheds. She's got too. a lot of hair still, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, people and are all this white that gender, hair. is that from fleas? No, that's probably just from her. She's not cleaning herself well. It's not uncommon in older cats. I don't see any there's no rashes or anything like that. I don't see any signs of fleas. There's nothing. Usually you can see the little black specks. Flea poop will come up as black specks on them, not white. Okay. White specks is dandruff. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. Although, Having tapeworms is not uncommon. It won't cause the severe symptoms. This would be a pretty, pretty high, high amount of uh, tapeworms. And typically, she would have had a really bad flea infestation prior to that. Yeah. That's where they get them. Yeah. You know. Well, and welcome to our new facility. It's your first time here, I think. Yes. Yeah. So well, actually, we brought um, Boomer here. Oh, that's right. Was, I yeah. Wasn't here that yeah, you weren't here that day, uh, but. It's, uh, yeah, 91 East Grand Boulevard. Suite 102, Corona, 92879. So, but it's a beautiful yeah, location. It was a human facility, which is why really? we're able to... Like the exam rooms were already built and stuff, so that was kind of nice. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. Yes, it but does. It is beautiful, and we highly, highly, highly recommend Dr. Bart Animal Medical Center of Corona. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, back to our kitty. Okay, so they took Bootsy back. They're going to do what they call a senior senior profile on her. They're going to do blood work and urine, and they're going to test first for a thyroid problem, uh, diabetes, and then a kidney disease. And they're testing in that order because easiest to or less serious to most serious. And then. If she's got diabetes, her and I are going to be diabetes buddies. <laughs> yeah. Um, if they all come back normal, then there'll be further testing needed. Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed going to the doctors with me or with us today and with Bootsy and hanging out with us and our crazy animals. <laughs> if you did, please give this video a great big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit that little red subscribe button down below and follow along with us. And share this video with your family and friends because, hey, they may enjoy seeing me in all this pain as well. You know me, safety forced. <laughs> yes, Red. <laughs>